when we leave this farm, we can take all the hardware with us and uh, set it up at the new place. Um, so it's not bound to a, um, to a farm or farm owner. Um, and we can utilize um, cow manager as much as we like, wherever we go. Um, Annie, um, this is Johnny. Um, we're farming 325 cows in South Otago, just out of Balkutha. We are in a very hilly part of the country. Quite challenging at times. It can be very wet, very cold, but also very hot and dry. And yep, yeah, we've got cow manager since last year, since we started our journey as herd owners. And yep, yeah, we're very happy with it. We wanted the least invasive um, monitoring system possible. Um, we personally don't like the idea of collars. We like the ear tags, the cows don't mind them. Um, over the cows the, don't know they're there. Yeah, over the last year we've lost maybe two tags, and that was because they had their head in the feeder. Um, but other than that, they don't try to shake them off or rub them off. Um, we just like the idea of the um, little invasion that ear tags have on the, on the cow. And it's just another ear tag, really. Yeah. Oh, I'd also say the fact that we have the whole farm covered, so we get updates every 15 odd minutes or so. So if there's something wrong, we know pretty quickly. Mm. With a very knowledgeable team from Cow Manager that we had, we had um, a couple of people from Cow Manager help us tag and run the cows in and um, make sure that we're doing everything right. And yeah, we did a bit of drenching on that day as well, so it wasn't really a big thing, it's something that we had to do anyway, just put management tags in and drench and vaccinate and that's what we did with the tags. Yeah. We don't think the system is expensive at all, we personally think it hasn't cost us money, it has saved us money, um, just going by the um, conception rates and um, in calf rates and also um, the handful of subclinical acidosis cows that we had at the start, I think um, Picking that up late can lead to further issues down the track and um, personally we find it very affordable with regards to what you get out of it. It wasn't at all upfront cost so it yeah. made it still affordable so we can get it in going and watch it pay for itself really. Nutrition has changed the way I graze cattle mainly following what the cow's doing. I can see when they have had enough, when they haven't had enough, um, and consistency. So I've learned over the last 12 months having cow manager um, to what what requires, what the cows need for consistency. I've noticed they are happy when they're fed at the same time every day, the same way. Um, and when they are short, I know, I can go out and get, give them some more. Be either supplement or another break. I think nutrition is absolutely everything. The module is probably the most important of all because everything relies on good nutrition of the cow. Um, to have that consistency basically make sure that the cow is adequately fed throughout the whole season and um, it kind of um, probably nudges out a lot of issues that come from the nutritional side of things. Um, especially when it comes to fertility. I think these two are correlated to one another and I think feeding the cows well throughout the whole year can prevent a lot of issues. During calving, um, after the first, cup, first week or so, we stopped going out for night checks as we gained trust in this system. And then we checked the cows before tea and then that was it and we only went out if got an alert on the phone. Um, we, towards the end of calving, we had a few cows with milk fever and it actually showed up on the cow manager while I was milking early in the morning. Uh, so I'd go and have a look at, I'd stop everything and go make sure they're okay and find that the cows were still up and I would then have to wait for them to come in to treat them to the two steed still to with that bag and so that's been really good to know that there's cows coming up with milk fever and you treat them before they get past that point. So cow manager for mating, um, we had really good results. We had a six week calf rate of 81%. 
an empty rate of 6.7% going off 12 weeks AI no bull. For the start of mating we used tail paint as well just to double check and after the first 8 to 10 days quickly decided to forget about tail paint and rely solely on cow manager. The silent heats, like, I think if we were to do another mating without cow manager, I would have to put bulls in with the herd right from day one just to catch the silent heats that you miss. Cow manager caught all the silent heats. There was, um, I don't think we missed many. Doesn't mean we missed any. We use it on the phone most of the time. Um, for mating, we um, also, well, we've got the um, other module, which is Find My Cow. Um, so for us during mating, that was heaven sent. We, lifesaver. Lifesaver. We have, um, we only use Find My Cow. We don't, we have a very, very basic cow shed. So Find My Cow basically um, looked at the cows on head, added them to Find My Cow drafted them out, inseminated them on the spot and let them back in the paddock. Um, and that is amazing because the system doesn't require any additional systems to work. And um, having it on the phone is easy when we go away for the afternoon um, with the kids. We can still be rest assured and make sure that the cows are happy. It gives you that peace of mind. Yeah, that peace, peace of, of mind. mind. The cows are okay and you know that you don't have to worry because if there's something wrong, you're going to know pretty quickly. Mm -hmm.